For the last two nights, we've shown you the serious side of us saying goodbye to our chief meteorologist, Carl Arredondo. Tonight, we brought back your favorites and mine <laughs> to tell the fun side. Angela Hill, <laughs> Jim Henderson, and Dennis Waltering. All right, I want some stories, some good oh, stories. there are a million Carl Arredondo stories, but and we were just commenting many on Fat Tuesday. But I did come up with a conclusion, because I was blessed to work with these three, that how much they loved wearing women's clothes <laughs> on Fat Tuesday, especially bras, and we all thought, we all really well, thought it was Dennis. Not really Dennis. The bras, but. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy things. Yes. Oh, what goes in the bras. Yes, yes. yes. But it yes. wasn't Dennis. It was Carl. All yeah. those years, he was the one who wanted. We yeah. just we just wore what you told us we were going to wear not. that year. That, no, that's true. Yeah, you that's just true. you took it to a new level, and that made it a great deal. And of Carl fun. always had the best abs. Always, always, always showing them off. Too. Yes. Yeah, well. I remember one year we were wearing pantyhose, could have been yeah. any number of years, <laughs> and I just happened to glance down and I thought, boy, Carl's got some really pretty patterned stockings on. Then I looked closer and it was all his, his hair on his legs. <laughs> it was just being matted in different directions. Man has the hairiest legs in the world. I don't think a lot of people realize some of the antics that went on during the commercial breaks and behind the scenes. Any that you can tell on camera? <laughs> well, you know, I, when I think of Carl, not so much today, but in the early days, very innocent, <laughs> and perhaps yes. in contrast to others. Mm -hmm. But it was <laughs> literally, he. we would say something and he'd go, oh, I didn't know that. Well, yeah, we yeah. were always looking for scoop and stuff, and we'd say, well, Carl, you know about a week ago. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> and it was like we were on two different planets. Yeah, but, he never yeah. had any dirt, you know? No. But we liked him anyway. I was always <laughs> isolated in the weather office where I just... Was, did your job? Yes, I did my job. <laughs> didn't uh, I wasn't in the newsroom where everything happened, and so now I learned over the past few years that you got to go in the newsroom and see what's going on. <laughs> well, you dirt. called it earlier today adolescent humor. Yes. Come on, give me some adolescent humor oh, stories that, that we can tell. I don't know, well, can I we? Don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if there are any stories we can tell. <laughs> <laughs> tell me. Karen always tells me, you know, Carl, you just crossed the line. And I always joke when I said, Karen, I didn't see the line. Yeah, so. I brought you this very small token. Oh. And I'm going to tell you what it is as uh -huh. you take it out. Because this was meaningful. All the years that we would do Goodwill, <laughs> the guys would wear ties. Yes. Oh, he was the ties. only one who didn't complain. No. And he looked forward to it, and that meant yeah. a lot. It meant a lot to Goodwill and a lot to me. And absolutely. we'd see him the rest of the year on it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. A tie's a tie. It's good. And it was That's good taste. Nice. Yeah. You know, Thank the thing you. about Carl that I, I think we there are many funny things. And, and my gosh, this man has put up with us for all those years. No. Because he's a gentleman. No. And he truly is a gentleman. No, it's fine. But I think what's overlooked gentleman. sometime, because I said this at both your retirements as well, these guys are fabulous fathers. Mm -hmm. And I think Carl's, the, the, the heartbeat of Carl is his son. Mm -hmm. And that we got to watch from birth <laughs> until now was was wonderful. But yeah. to see him care so much and guide Carl. One of the things I admire about Carl is that he is he has an incredible work ethic. Mm -hmm. And we would go home after the 10 o'clock news, and if it was a stormy night, he'd be here all night long. And then if it was going to be raining the next day when he lived in Slidell, he'd come in in the morning so he could be here for the storm through the night. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just an incredible... And work ethic. I did ask you guys to stay with me at overnight. <laughs> there was never any volunteers. I asked them. I still never ask, complain. I still never ask my anchors. It. Final yeah. thoughts? I think the lighthouse is very lucky to, to get Carl Arredondo. He's mm -hmm. going to do great things for a lot of people by being as open as you are. All and right. if there's anything we can do to help you in this transition, you know, mm -hmm. I think you should call us. Oh, you know, sure. I yes. want to be. I want to be there for you mm -hmm. if, if you need any. Any assistance with we are anything? The team. Yes. Carl, the truth, Aradon. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, these guys have been the best, and I know I'm beyond that point where I won't ask for help. So if I need something, I certainly will call. Except I'm, money. Except money. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that. Yes. I, well, there's lots of Jim Hendren stories about <laughs> that. So <laughs> there are lots. <laughs> well, all right, everyone. Carl's last night with us on the air is at 10 o'clock on Friday night, and I hope you'll join us.